All right, I set? I think so. All right. 5J, discussion action on action from closed session. I'll make a motion we um, go ahead and keep Wordman Clark as our labor attorney for the village. Okay. I'll second. A motion by Mitch, second by Troy. We're in discussion on the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Yeah. All right, agenda item six, report, Vanguard Commission. Um, there was not a meeting since our last board meeting. Uh, Sean did give us um, a superintendent report. The next meeting is March 16th. As Sean mentioned, there'll be a, an inter there's meetings at 6.30, uh, 6.30 p.m. There's a uh, final candidate interview prior to the start of the meeting in which the, uh, the commission will, will meet the candidates. 6B, Black Earth Fire Department, uh, Fire District. Mary? Did not meet and meets next on March 11, 630. Uh, see, Dana, Iowa. Last meeting was Thursday, February 18th. Um, some of the discussion, Wisconsin Heights um, um, investigating and calculating discharge flows for the new addition. Um, any costs that will be caused to the sewer system will be um, will be the responsibility of the, um, of the school district. There are issues with the water wells. Um, it's likely that the pumps will be pulled for inspection. Um, the commission is debating replacement of the pump, um, which brings out, you know, there's been a lot of repair lately. The plant is 25 years old. So there'll be more discussions um, over the years as far as um, how to go forward, if to go forward with replacement of major portions of that plant. So that's, those are ongoing um, discussions. Uh, there are no discharge violations. The next meeting is Thursday, March 18th at 6.30 p.m. The Economic Development Committee meeting. Last meeting was Wednesday, March 24th. We discussed. Um, February. I'm sorry, February. Yes, March. <laughs> sorry, yes. Last meeting was Wednesday, February 24th. So we discussed the, uh, the school and um, provided our recommendation to the board. And we reviewed survey results. We're still discussing and planning the survey results. Next meeting is scheduled for Monday, March 22nd at 6 p.m. Six E emergency management bench. Uh, we didn't have one. Okay. Are Except we going to have one coming up anytime soon? We're going to have to. Yeah. yeah. So we have to work on the hazard mitigation and uh, Dane County had a changing of the guard for the gentleman who's going to help us with that. They just hired that position. He came on board last week. So we'll be able to start that back up. And yeah. So we have to wait for her before we can have another emergency management? We meeting. need someone to guide us through that hazard mitigation planning. Okay. That's part. That's what we've been waiting for. So. so. Jared? Yep, so the March meeting was canceled due to lack of agenda items. Uh, the next tentative meeting is May 14th. Uh, I believe that should probably be at 6.30. There wasn't a time uh, sent out with that yet. In May? May, yes. What a, May 14th. Thank you. 6G, Library Board, Mary? Uh, library met on February 16th at 7 o'clock p.m. David Stanfield gave a report on um, how to cover library board services to the community via the Vermont Voice, which is an independent volunteer-run publication. He gave the same presentation for the Board 2 offering that anybody that wants to submit could submit there. Friends of the Library um, did a silent auction. They raised uh, $1,200 and they are now an officially a 501c3. President's report, uh, President 
wanted everybody to know um, new ideas. If they can wait until the new library director is up and running, it would be helpful to have the library director as part of that ground floor decision making. But um, that in the interim and, and as he serves as president, um, he's fostering shared ideas and um, communication. Uh, a new report is done and was sent to, I have South Central Library Services, but somebody else said DPI, so is it DPI or South Central, are they kind of the same? It goes to both. Goes to both, that's what I reckon, okay. And then uh, trustee offices were detailed, um, there was a correction because there was an erroneous date for Munson, um, she, uh, hers ends in April as well and then she'd be up for appointment. Um, Library Communications and Budget Committee. She's up in April. Up this April, but then it'd be reappointment. She's finishing out. Heather Messer. Heather Messer. Um, Library Communications and Subcommittee, they did meet, but they are now suspending meetings until further notice. Um, general themes of former library director and the exit interview. Preparing for the future of the library director interview, um, the highlights and recommendations from our outgoing for our incoming. Um, library director interviewing process, we um, went over the interviewing questions and interview procedures and protocols and uh, updated the village about um, attorney's fees being tabled that had to do with village and library board business. Oh, and the next meeting is March 16th at 7 p.m. Gary? Absolutely. I only have two things, and that is that uh, we are currently working um, to narrow down our applicants to our top three. Um, the board members have those applications, resumes, that sort of thing, um, in their possession, and we're going to uh, coordinate through um, person to try to get our top three list to sort of narrow down our interview options. Um, so that's the only real thing I have to report. I do have one question, and that was the um, library audit. We talked about it at the last meeting, and it isn't on this week's or this month's agenda. And so I'm just curious where that stands. There was um, one request of the audit. Sorry, you mean the physical audit is complete? The only thing that's now with standby time this meeting would would occur if the audit is over, other than the report. So I, there's not much to rescind. So I didn't the, the in-depth audit has been completed, is that my understanding? All the field work is complete at this time. I mentioned For the in-depth audit? I mentioned at last month that they were going to be coming out to do all their field work. Yes, we did. I know that he did talk to Kirsten. I'm not sure anything further at this point, but once he's finished with the field work, they will start with their reports on their um, A little bit of point, but I understand where you're coming from. Any questions for Gary? <coughs> Page, Public Works. All right, Public Works met Feb February 17th at 1 p.m. via Zoom. Um, no public comment. Uh, had a Vanguard report similar to what he said today. Had discussion action. No action. We had discussion on uh, Wisconsin Height was talking about maybe putting a 1.2 megawatt solar uh, field. Um, discussed with Brian Hood a little bit. Um, not sure if it comes forward or if it even happens. We'll know more. But uh, there would have to be engineering and all kinds of stuff done. So um, discussion action on UTV ATV sign. Um, I don't see it on the agenda here. Um, there's some verbiage that needs to be changed in the ordinance yeah. to make so the sign. Yeah, so you remember the ordinance, I gave you a red line with yep. amendments. It goes to the police committee for them to take a shot before it will come to the village board. Okay. 
So, so there's some verbiage that has to be added in our ordinance as well before the signs can be ordered. Okay. So uh, spring's coming pretty soon. So um, let's see. Public Works directory took some pa old picnic tables they dug out from behind to surplus. Um, the mower was going to go to surplus. Um, the F four fifty is already up at surplus to be auctioned. Um, the orange truck expenses hit eleven k for repairs. Mm -hmm. So now he said he can keep it for fifty years because it's almost like new. No. <laughs> um, Actually, we, we, we talked about getting a plan together, a replacement plan of time, and then weighing the cost and not, and Matt's doing the work on that. Yeah, let's try prioritizing. Um, let's see, that's about it. Um, no training on COVID. Um, we talked about fluoride in the water. Um, you're doing some research well, on that yet. That, yeah. Um, We're going to make that a referendum. Well, first, that was talk, but I think we wanted to get the facts. We need to get the real facts, down. right? Um, I made some phone yeah, calls. Um, made some phone calls on that, so we're just trying to get a little more information together. All right, and then that was it. Oh, uh, next meeting is the seventeenth at one p.m. via Zoom. Um, oh. I've got one question. The focus on energy rebate, did anybody look into that for Wright Mechanical? Wait, who is that? You? Yes. Danny got Bill with that information, and it basically was referenced to households, and it was 2020 information is what he gave us, so I think you were going to maybe make a phone call on it. Did you have this back from um, Baybrooks and what they were, so you know what they were offering? The work's already done. Furnace is in. It was decided to go with rights. Right. Yes. But there, so there's no possibility of the focus on energy. Oh, absolutely. There is. But no, it's, yeah. We just. So the, yeah, we're looking into it. Baybrooks was giving 150. Dot, oh wait, it's not Baybrooks. I'm sorry. Modern was Heating modern was giving 150 dollars yes. rebate on focus on energy, and I just thought it would come was, off the bill. Their quote was way more than. Right, price. for sure. But I was just curious if they got it. Could somebody else get, get it? Well, that's what they're asking now, right? That's what we're looking into, yep. Right. And if it's there, it doesn't matter who does it. We can submit the paperwork and get it ourselves. Right. With focus. Yep. So, yeah. And we're a member. They should be pretty good for us. So. Yeah. Just working on getting the right paperwork. Yeah. Huh? I'm working on getting the right paperwork. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I just been hanging in the shop with cold weather stuff, going through the equipment, doing services, um, getting stuff ready for spring, summer. Um, meters were estimated. Some of you may have noticed that on your bills. Um, that was just due to the frigid temperatures. Um, the office has fielded a couple phone calls on that, and I think residents, once they've understood the conditions and the reasons, they've been satisfied with the answers. So. As Mip said, just kind of a lot of research going on right now for some of those things. Um, the fluoride costs, talking with some other municipalities of why they did that decide to get rid of it and such like that. So just some ongoing work there. So uh, most of the Any questions for Matt? Thanks, Matt. Thanks to I Parks Committee. Josh? Yeah, we met on Wednesday uh it wasn't January 17th, once on February 17th. Yep. Yeah. Um, and basically we talked about uh, updating the court plan for the village. Uh, there need to be some updates uh, so that basically some language need to be um, added to support grants that the village, potential grants for the village um, to acquire some properties. Um, we gave the necessary, or Shelly to go ahead, just update as needed to uh, kind of keep the process moving. And we agreed as a committee that we can uh, look at updating the plan as we kind of navigate throughout the next couple months, years, there are changes in the village, um, you know, based on the needs of the village. Uh, we talked about the park equipment needs. Um, more so, it came up with basically things that we felt need to be removed because of uh, basically damage or that are broken. So the teeter totter was one of the best parks that we just said need to be removed. Um, we're looking at something that else can go in that space. We're not quite sure what yet. 
Uh, James brought up basketball hoops at Community Park need attention, so we're looking. Matt was going to look at backboards, I think, and uh, nets for those. And then it also was brought up about the school bus climber at Community Park also needs attention, so it kind of gets a gray area there as far as when we start potentially looking at replacing or removing equipment down there, just how things work. So things are kind of still in limbo with that. Um, we talked about the Blackbird Elementary School, kind of came back to the whole thing as far as what we discussed tonight. Um, along with that, Matt brought up about a uh, cocoa drag mat versus a chain link drag mat to use on the ball fields. So we we're going to go ahead and purchase one of those. Hopefully that'll help with uh, kind of the rock issue we we're having last year from stirring up too much of that. That was recommended how to drag the field. Um, and then we were going to get with town and country to get the color schemes that they used for the community park. And Matt was going to, now that the warmer weather is coming about, we can get people back out here to look at giving prices for fascia fencing, uh, post-match, stuff like that. And then Jared asked about uh, the ash trees. So basically right now, it's too cold to treat them. We're taking them down. So Matt's having a holding pattern. And then uh, Shelly was going to continue to look at the adopt tree plan for residents. So kind of, I don't know if it's time to bring it up now or I should we should do it later, but it kind of goes along with this. Uh, Matt had received an email and we talked about this this week from Tyler Munson, mm -hmm. and he had kind of brought this up about a few months ago. He said, hey, I look into potentially treating the trees himself because he, he felt like he didn't need a, from the research he did, he didn't need a certification to do it. Mm -hmm. I told Matt that I felt right. like it'd be something that we should discuss here because what the liabilities are in the village if we just have some guy volunteer their time and start treating trees, should something happen with the liabilities mm -hmm. of the village. So I don't know where you guys want to go with that. Um, I can double check the liability. With I just didn't know if it was one of those things that whenever they adopt a tree, I, it seemed to me, me that, or my understanding is that whenever, if we went with the adopt a tree plan, that whoever adopted the tree would be responsible for organizing the treatments, paying for the treatments, doing everything, and the bill is just kind of hands off is the way I understood that. So, so we didn't really respond to Tyler, I don't think, yet regarding that. We, so. Um, grand opening, we said it's too challenging to schedule a grand opening right now due to COVID. It's just still a fluid thing, so um, talk about maybe doing an anniversary flood should things change, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to reach out to Caminati's about assisting with the ball field again this year. They said they're on board with that. Okay. Uh, Paul Pisagi also said he would cut grass for us all this year. Good. Good. Uh, Olsen Toon doing weed and feed. Um, and yeah, sounds like not looking at any other parks for treatment at this time. So, uh, next meeting is March fifteenth at six p.m. Questions for Josh? Are the contracts for the weed and feed are those reviewed yearly? They are not. We just went out towards the end of last year to get. I said we just did. We just had July. Got them last fall, so we knew that we were going to move forward. Yeah. now. Before that was only a couple of years different too. Yeah. Yeah, and they're the best they're the best price and local. And then they do all of our fields, right? They do the like small ball that. small ball field and they do Veterans Park. Veterans Park. The, school the school takes school care of the big field. Contracted for large. You you had the info, right? Huh? You had it. You were I know I'm just okay. being reminded I didn't bring it with me, so okay. I just want to be reminded yeah. since I'm thinking of it and it's spring's coming up. And since he brought it up. Six J Police Committee. Okay. We met on February 10th. Um, approved January minutes. Discussion action on police reports. December they had seven special events. Some school toy drive. They delivered cookies and they helped with the fire department raffle. Um, current there was a vehicle stolen from town. I don't have any information. <laughs> um, uh, the contact attorney, village attorney came up again. Um, I had asked for some specifics like uh, what emergency would they actually have and how long would they need it done. We ended up, nobody could come up with an exact emergency where they'd have to contact her right away. So um, we just asked that they stay with what is done, contact Shelly first and uh, go from there. 
I think it sounds like everybody seemed to agree. Um, discussed an ordinance for a little bit. Um, there was three that kind of fell into each other with uh, snow ordinances and parking, but uh, we we're going to take a look at getting this stuff um, codification of the village ordinances, so we're, we didn't really discuss it too much longer. Um, the ATV, UTV updates, um, we just let them know that there was verbiage for the signs that need to be changed yet. Um, Shelly found some enforcement help from Wisconsin Dells. They have some enforcement areas where we can look into to help help us. Um, they want to do a presentation, which will come up later. Uh, they'd like to come and discuss, Dane County Sheriff's, the ATB department would like to come and discuss some issues that we might have and just let us know, kind of update us on what to expect. Um, we discussed communication uh, needs. Some people were, felt that uh, the uh, communication wasn't being displayed through everybody correctly, but um, we got it going through Shelly now and she'll disperse the information needed so that we don't end up with uh, walking forms and stuff. Our next meeting is March 10th at 5 p.m. Questions for James? And item seven, discussion action regarding village board minutes of January 5th, 2021 and February 2nd, 2021. There's a reason, did, did we square away the 5th, January 5th? I wasn't here for it, so. Gary, sorry. Uh, information which I did add in. I just copy and pasted that in. You want to see some of the highlighted information. Um, uh, so. Is this the one where we had Gary's report? Yep, and we didn't put the whole report in. There was uh, a statement correction on wording. Okay. And then I noticed at the end on 10, it's a small point, but it wasn't that I was unable to unmute myself. It's that I thought I was unmuted and I was voting. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just that I was It wasn't that I was unable to unmute myself. It's that I thought I was unmuted. I motion to approve the um, changes and addition to number 10. Audit, but thought I was unmuted to make votes. On uh, February 2nd, do we have to vote separately on that? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Everyone else okay with the January 5th minutes and amendment? 
I'll make a motion. We approve January 5th with the amendment that Mary suggested. I second any seconds, Mary. Oh, you made the motion? Okay, I'll second. Second. Uh, motion by Mary and a second by Mitch to approve January 5th, 2021. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, February 2nd, Tom. Uh, item 5, B discussion action of village hall furnace. Is it to purchase a furnace and service from Wright Electric? Is it actually, I'm assuming he's an HVAC company or what? It's Wright Mechanical. Right Mechanical, yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know if it made a difference or not. If it doesn't, it's fine. Just... That's your motion. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> On number nine, though, I'd like to add Scott requested intent of unapproved invoices. Unapproved invoice. Scott requested intent of unapproved invoice. Where did that go? Nine. And then, I don't know where it goes in there, probably just after the period of time. Board did not know ahead of time. Scott requested intent of unapproved invoice. requested intent of unapproved invoice.
funds about 16% of what is that budget. Again, this is pre-audit yet. Our general fund won't see that percentage on revenues um, just based on the way we collect quarterly transportation aids and tax stuff. We'll see that change probably over the next quarter. But for the general fund, our revenues are sitting at about 5% with expenses at 10%. Our electric fund is sitting with revenues at about 15.5% with expenses at 10%. Water fund, revenues are at 15.4%, expenses at 8%. And in the sewer, revenues are sitting at 17% with expenses at 4%. Um, I mentioned a little while ago, the audit, the field work is complete at this time. There may be one more day they come out. Uh, reports on our audit should be final and to us by June, if I'm expecting it could be sooner. Um, the other thing I want to note is that our loans and grants, I had been talking to our financial advisors already about refinancing some of our debt as we look at the um, school property, if we have to purchase it, whatnot. And during that process, I noticed our community park loan that has finished, it went from a construction loan to permanent financing now. But as I reviewed that uh, pre-audit, the village originally signed that loan for $885,000. Our expenses, that loan was at $783,078. So I did have the bank rewrite that and re-amortize what we actually did borrow. The engineering came to 59600 of that project that the village paid from the general funds. Now I'm bringing the engineering up because the scope estimate on community parks from them was between 38000 and 42000 So I will be asking town and country, one, to take a look at my numbers, make sure that I have got everything accurately recorded, but if that is absolutely accurate, uh, you know, they went significantly over their scope. <clears throat> so is that above and beyond the 783? Yes. So how much was the other one? The, the original one country? at the bank was for 885. No, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I guess if you look at the 783 of construction plus the 59,000 or roughly 60,000, that would have come to okay. what, 830? Uh, the reason that park is so narrowed down right now, too, is because we submitted everything into the county for that grant reimbursement. Remember, we received a grant for 108000 and of course, FEMA needed all of this information as well, which I'm playing contact with them at this point. So, uh, just a little bit of a note on where that is at with the park. So, we're still waiting on 105 from the grant from the county, right? What's up? You're still waiting on the grant? Yeah. And so then, I just heard back from the county that they want me to pull out some additional numbers before they submit it for the test to be written. So I will work on that tomorrow. And FEMA we're still waiting on too? Yeah. I've gotten everything. I've called him. I'm trying to get a hold of, you know, how do you want to get these numbers or whatever. It's a huge file. It's a do we have any, any estimate from them as far as what it's going to be? I don't know. I thought we had FEMA money back. What was two hundred and twenty thousand six hundred and sixty-three dollars? I'm not sure what that was. From FEMA, wasn't that what they said? The percentage that they were willing to pay based on? No, I don't have any commitment for them on what they're willing to pay on. I'm hoping that we get two hundred and twenty-five thousand at least for the park portion of it. So, but I can't say that that's what will happen. Didn't we get 52000 from FEMA for something? We've gotten quite a bit of money from FEMA. We had, Remember, we had nine projects open with FEMA from the flood. Um, community Some of it was fire, too. Oh, I thought, I thought we had, like, a park with 52000 Some of it is fire. There were, I think, there two or three for the fire department that we processed the rest of it from the village. Um, if we look at our fire financial It's very, so in 2019 is where we received a considerable amount of money. If you look at your revenue and expenses, you'll see there's 145000 sitting in there. That is not all FEMA money, though. That is also funds that are coming back in from our insurance company at that point. So I can pull the detail and get more exact, but 
At any rate, we're still working on getting our community park stuff done. But the other thing we noted with that loan that's important is the way that the state bank wrote that note, they originally agreed that we would be able to prepay that without penalty, but that's not how it was written. So as I looked at trying to refinance our debt, that language is really critical because it would not have been allowed to be refinanced. It has been changed. The bank did correct that and again re amortized our loan for what we actually borrowed. Um, eligible sellers is in the process of running some numbers on what it would look to finance some of our debt. There are a couple of our loans we cannot refinance, such as the GEO bond that's been outstanding since, gosh, 2013. It was refinanced then. And then the clean water and safe drinking water loan. Those are uh, more revenue bonds that can't be there. So when I get that information, I will certainly be getting that out to everyone and hopefully can reduce our debt with some serious interest changes that are Help our taxpayers out. That's all I got for a financial report. For I just got a question on the treasurer's report. Sure. Um, the parks, does it still have that in the LGIP account? Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought $100,000 came out of there when we got the last parks budget that was taken so, out already. So we, the 100000 was earmarked to put towards the Lona Community Park yep. because we just redid that debt loan. I'm not going to pull it out and make that payment just yet. Okay. It was just confusing because it was out of the park's budget when we got it, but it's in here. So yeah. Was, yeah, it's still okay. sitting in there. I have not... But that will be that. coming out of there. Yeah. So, so that can't be there. That is correct. It's essentially a torrent something else in the house. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. What a playground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. I move to approve the uh, January 2021 financial report. I'll second. Second. And a motion, uh, motion by Troy, second by Mitch. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Agenda item 9, discussion action on invoice pay, the um, lawyer bill that we do not uh, Upstairs that, and then I also have to invoices that I yeah. need to get out of so just out of curiosity, I know we didn't pay the last month, the actually, but we didn't have a bill from them this month. No, it's no, we did not. Oh, it's just unusual. So I just... <laughs> the um, invoice, the can canopy, canopy, canopy yes, yeah, that, that is a library expense. Yeah. And I don't know, Gary, do you know play credits? What canopy play credits are for? Uh, how is it referenced on the invoice? Just play credits. Because I don't know if that's... Is it a separate line item? Is it we're charging you $50 for play credits? I don't... Danny, do you have your... Can you find your bill? Um, that right is mechanical. I see he charges whatever the... I'm assuming that's what the amount was to. Did he? It was $98 more because he did inspect both of the other services, so okay. he charged $50 extra for each of them. That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it got done. Credit. What does it say? $2 per credit might be more purchased. Did you hear that? $2 per credit. It, 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 it's not too much. I can certainly find out for the truth if you know. Okay. Is that something they give away to kids to use games, to play games on? I don't think it's in the library. Yeah. They're for video play. That's what I assumed. Yeah. 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 Ye
I don't know if I've seen any minutes or anything that I can dig up where this board is taking action or put down in minutes or even discussed of contacting an attorney for advice or training or whatever for do we want to do the first invoice? Sure, let's do it. Sure. I make a motion. We'll uh, sure. I make a motion. We we approve the invoice to be paid for this month. I'll second. All right. Motion by Mitch. Second by Josh. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Scott. So the reason that the axe with Benson was pulled is that the board member that decided that it was okay to go ahead and contact without um, board approval. I think we need to get that into a motion that just says, in the future, should counsel be needed, it should be a board decision, even if it's in the event that Shelley needs quick approval, she can call an emergency board meeting. Um, but I don't think we should be allowed to contact attorneys and so my motion would state that I would go ahead and approve this Ashley Brownson invoice contingent on the fact or on the future that all trustees or village employees of any kind uh, go through Shelley or village administrator in order to uh, make attorney contact or if the board would like to discuss it further, we, we, we would require board approval. But some way, shape, or form, we need to make this meeting. So. The only place where that comes into an issue is if there's something that's in that has to do with like whistleblower or a statutory infraction where a trustee um, made the reasonable effort um, to rectify the situation, the problem was remaining, it was not remedied. And then the other part of that, the Department of Justice states, any member of a governmental body who knowingly attends the meeting held in violation of open meeting laws or otherwise violates the law, the laws, is subject to a forfeiture for each violation. Knowingly is as not only positive knowledge of the illegality of a meeting, but also awareness of the high probability of the meeting's illegality or conscious avoidance of awareness of the illegality. So it doesn't, making a blanket statement doesn't give a recourse for, like in that situation, well, that's that situation there was only, there was just past 24 hours for it to be amended and then no additional information was given. So there was no way for a trustee to be prepared. Okay, okay. But what you're reading is there's forfeitures involved in that. It doesn't, it doesn't say somebody has the right to go bring debt. But it, it plays into developing a written policy when you identify that there are different potentials for that that could supersede meeting with um, the colleagues during a board meeting, which would be the most, you know, being able to contact and get immediate feedback for it or immediate resolution of it would be number one with with. But that good doesn't say that that it's legal to go incur debt. But it, there's nowhere that says that it's not legal in an emergency situation. It must have been something that if there's some sort of fracture and it needs to be addressed, I think that there should be a provision in there for, like I said, whistleblowers or for some sort of an emergency where you're not getting that feedback. Otherwise, the meeting would have went to table and it would have been with an illegal there's agenda. That couldn't have, so that that couldn't have been emergency. done later on if there was problems. But so. that's the problem. If you knowingly attend the meeting, knowing that there's an open meetings violation. You wouldn't know until you attended. But I knew it when I when I got the two word response from Troy there Library Board, which it was not. There wasn't um, an infraction to how it was. It was made more clear, but how it was. So well, a board isn't an a committee, and I think we could still we could go around that again. A board isn't a committee. There was no way for anybody on Library Board to know that library business was going to be mentioned. And then second time round, even as it was posted, there was no way for anybody to know there was there more was than one item 
that was going to be the library, discussed. We didn't so the library, library should pay the bill? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that if it's not transparent on an agenda in this case, this is one case. The if library it's not, was not here to make a, a, any type of approval. We were just, we were approving so much to the library board. It wasn't their it's business. Not their that business. was our it business. It was a two part. That was our business to place somebody on the board. Whatever you see as appropriate agenda posting from where you sit, I mean, you're in charge of that. But if somebody disagrees with it, what's the recourse instead of so just no attending? But ever, I guess we could have six opinions, so we could have six phone calls to the lawyer. To well, the lawyer interestingly enough, there have been phone calls that um, from trustees, seated trustees, between the lawyer, and this is not the only one that it's occurred. So. Um, and so that meeting wasn't, it wasn't, that wasn't emergency. I checked all of the minutes like and that. all the agendas and they're not listed on the minutes or the agendas. So I agree with Scott wholeheartedly that there needs to be policy. Things need to be written down. So Scott's got a motion on the table. Is there a second? But I don't agree with the, that there is no reason for it if, in fact, it's handled like it was handled last time, that there's something, you changed the agenda for some reason. You felt the need to change the agenda, to amend it in just over 24 hours from the meeting. So there must have been something. To make it more clear so we wouldn't have discussions like this, to appease that it's specific. <coughs> right? But it was fine. It, it, it was sufficient. The There's still a motion on the table, so we shouldn't be discussing right. it until the motion there is a second. It, which I'll second, so we discuss it. So the motion on the second. Motion by Scott, second by Mitch. Any more discussion? Nope. And then what was the other? You can you read your statement again, Scott? I would just what, like to yeah, with the motion. And the motion is approval of the Ashley Reynoldson invoice under the condition that in the future, if attorneys need to be contacted, it is either done as a board, that, that no trustee has, has the right to incur debt. You can, you know, if it's an eight hundred dollar bill, that's fifty cents a person in black earth. You know, you want to run on with your hat out? That's fine, but I don't think it should have been occurred. Incurred, and uh, I think in the future, if something like this comes up, it it needs to it needs either needs board action or it needs to be approved by a village administrator. That not everybody should have access to a village attorney. You have the right to you have the right to go get legal opinion at any time. I understand. I just wanted to hear Scott. Yeah. Okay. I think you put it very well, and I just wanted to hear it again. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor of the motion. Aye. 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 Annie, were you able to get that? <laughs> Do you have it written down? Sorry, Gary. It wasn't for public. I can't I believe it's right. You did not call on me for that time. Huh? All right. Great. Motion, uh, nays? Motion passed. All right. Agenda item 10, any other business that may be brought before the board on future agendas? Yes. Can we discuss combining legal fees under one law firm by doing, by requesting from Boardman Clark? that they supply us with their municipal legal services. I mean, Prices. pricing for municipal legal services. Anything else? Agenda item 11, meeting announcements. So we've got a bunch of things. We do, and it, everyone should have a calendar for the month. So let's pass it first. Um, the March 9th, insurance risk and liability training, 5.30 p.m. And Gary, I'll send out a Zoom link to the library board for this. Thank you. It Thank will you. be open to the public. I'm not quite sure how long it will take, but it'll be the night. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
um, April board meeting. Right, so elections will occur the first Tuesday. first Tuesday of the month, so we need to pick another different day. Do you have a suggestion, Chip? I would like it to hopefully be after the sixth. The day before. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Are you saying the week after? <laughs> That, yes, if we tried to do it the day after, I mean, that puts us for two weeks. I think we usually did that. Don't we do the second week? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. What happened on the 14th? Okay. There also has to be an organizational meeting. Yep. So do you, like, so here's separate, the, combined? Well, uh -huh. here's the deal with the organizational meeting. The organizational meeting by state law has to be held by the next regularly scheduled village board meeting after election. It could be done on that regular meeting day, so literally May, or sometime in between. Doesn't that have to be 21 days? It has to be over 21 days? I don't know that there's any specific on the days, but new officers take office the third Tuesday of the month. That's probably the same thing. So it has to be an organizational meeting. Sometime between April 6th and May, whatever that is first Tuesday will be. Or it could be on that first Tuesday in May. It's got to be by the regular, next regular meeting date. Oh, okay. That would be good. March 13th is a Saturday. April 13th. April 13th. Oh, why do I have marches? Yeah, you can oh, no, work. That's all I have is March too. Well, well March the upper right yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm April looking for the next. <laughs> I did the same thing you did. Do you care? No, I'm meeting me tonight. I don't. It doesn't matter. I just said you wanted. We've done it on a Monday. We've done it on a Tuesday. We've done it on a Monday. Whatever works for everybody else, I'm okay with. Over the course of the year. Mary, you got a preference? I can't do the second Tuesday of any month um, after school. 6.45. Wednesdays are not good for me. Are we talking about the regular board meeting? Yeah. yeah. April 12th, on Monday? 6 p.m.? I'm sorry, I can't do the second Monday of any... I'm sorry, I'm thinking Tuesday. I can't do the second Monday after 6.45. April 13th. 13th. Don't you suggest it, Scott? April 13th. April 13th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, presentation. So that is the request of the police to come in so they can talk to us about the ATV education and whatever. Can we do that the same day as the organizational? Because then they'd be with the new member. I mean, yeah, because the organizational meeting has typically only lasted like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Which meeting is only 10 minutes? Organizational. organizational. Huh? Organizational. It's just usually the list the committee, what committees you'll be on. And okay. That's <laughs> it. Whoever gets a little used to, we used to approve the newspaper. We'll walk you through the process. The bank and stuff like that, but. So that'll be what date? Well, organizational meeting um, gets set, of course, in April or by the next date. Because we'll I have am, to make sure that the police can be heard. Um, I will be on vacation from the 17th of April through the 24th. But Danny can handle everything. You want to send, would you send everybody out a reminder on March 9th for the insurance risk? I sure will. Uh, yeah, you'll get a Zoom link. Okay. I'm going to send that out tomorrow. Why did we decide to go with the before elections and waiting until after elections since we're changing a couple of seats? It's open to the public. Anyone can attend. Are they going to have to that, That's actually the date the insurance company gave me. 
that they would be able to come in. And did they allow it once per year for a free benefit? Mm -hmm. or is it this once is per, per request of the village to do this. Right. They may look at doing this every year. Mm -hmm. All right. I suggest we take yeah. it. Yeah. <coughs> Take yeah, it on it'll Zoom, be recorded. and then we can show it next year, so they don't yeah. have to do it every year. Absolutely. And as things change, they should, though, right? And so it'll be well, part of like our training. That fall under that, and it'd be nice to know if they'll list their previous too. I don't know if they do this. They're gonna they're tailoring this to our community, <laughs> so I don't know if they'll. Okay. Well, but it'll be part of our training packages here going forward. So, and then of course personnel meeting for annual review. That needs to be set. That needs to be completed by a certain date. We did it um, in April last year, right? And yes. End of April. April. But we were late. So um, it's like to get March that is kind of getting kind of full already. Like March is getting kind of full. Yes, it is. Did I miss a date on the organizational meeting? No, we haven't okay. set one yet. Okay. That'll get set at the April meeting. Okay. personnel meeting. Anything else? No. Public Health did release um, some updated information, a new order that's going to go into effect March 10th. I'm sure it'll be all over the news, but it does expand the gathering limits indoors and outdoors. I make a motion to return. Perfect. Motion a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Yep. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.